So now that we are getting the basic option ready for, as a response, let's look at how we can start creating the relationship and then you know persisting it. So let's go to option entity and the question entity and we need to create that relation, right? So a question has options which is of type option and it can be an array because we expect multiple. It is a one to many relation option will be what it is mm, option dot question okay that is the property which it will relate to and we will come over here in option we will have a field called question which is of type entity question okay and this is going to be a many to one kind of a relation like so okay. and in here this is going to be what so in here I did quiz and then quiz dot options right so similarly in here I'll do question dot options okay this is done and this is done as well and in the database let's see I have options which has a question ID and obviously because question is a one to many it will not have the option ID or anything like that so this relationship is done okay and now the next thing that we need to do is let's close these two inside our option controller we need to first of all get the question right so constant question equals this dot what our question service dot we need a method called find question by id so find question by id and we will send the create option dot question id to it obviously we don't have this method so we'll create that inside our question service it will re return a promise of type question return await this dot question repository dot find one id and relations um sorry not round bracket but rather this so this is fine question by id let's just return the quiz as well i know i know we don't need that you know, per se but that's fine create option dot question id Okay, and this is going to be an await. So this becomes a sync. Okay, nothing wrong in any other file. And just so that we know what is coming, uh, go to postman and let's just check. So question is here, create option is here, and in the question we have the quiz object as well. Okay, so obviously I don't need the quiz as I told you because I'm going to persist the question with it options but just so that you know I wanted to show you how the relations work in a little more detail so I did that. Alright, so this is done. Now we need to save the uh, option, right? So let's just open up our option.service file and we will need to add a function called create option it's an async function which expects what it expects the create option so let's just say option of type create option dto 
and it also expects the question which is of type question okay and with that done i'll send the return type later but let's just see so new option equals this dot option repository dot save text is going to be option dot text is correct property will be option dot is correct okay this is done and after that if you remember we did something in our quiz uh, sorry the quiz service right or no rather the question service which is where is that this is the question service js i need the question dot service dot ts for some reason the dist folder is also coming up in my you know auto comp uh, the recent open things and that's creating a little bit of a confusion for me sometimes i need to figure out how to do that you know how to exclude it but yes so if you see we created the question and then you know in the quiz questions we added that right so we have to do something very similar over here we have the new option so we do question dot options equals we get the existing ones so question dot options and then we add the new option and what what does it say it's not assignable why so uh, let's just see question dot save it will not go away for sure question dot options should have worked i don't understand why it's not it's an array of option which is kind of correct i don't see any problem in here so okay what is happening is i again missed this the await and so that's what was creating that problem so question is created and i finally return new option now if everything is correct i am sure we will get back the option which we have just created so this is the question let's do this dot question service dot create question what does it expect it expects the question dto so sorry option dto create option and the question which we have just queried from our database again let's not forget the await it says create option dto is not assignable to create question why is it making this thing because create option okay question service is not the correct one this dot option service dot this create option and finally we send this as a response so let's just quickly check now okay app has not started so it says internal error options is not iterable so we are getting this problem that is you know when I, we are trying to insert a new option we are getting this 500 error and the basic problem is if we go over here run this query you will see the question id is not getting inserted so i tried manually doing it and the basic relations were in place but when i try to insert through postman it says 500 error and if you look at the logs basically it says that question dot option is not iterable why if we need to you know, find the reason we need to understand what is happening so that option service is trying to add the new option inside question dot options okay and how are we how are we getting this question we are getting this from this um you know option controller 
and the option controller is sending this using this service method and in here we just have the relation of quiz we don't have the option so if you see the option entity right option let me open up the option entity option entity says we uh, you know it is bound to a question and the question entity has an array so that's where we want to add it right but the question service is not loading that relationship and that's why it was failing so if i now add this let the app restart and try again uh oh that's a little weird i think i missed the s options right question has options so the app has restarted and if everything is fine we should get all the options from here right so this question has how many two options both are python so that's a problem let's just say we have php yes it got added node and this got added as well so yes now basically what we have been able to successfully then do is you now we created that option relationship we were able to save the options inside a question right so there are certain things which we would ideally like to handle for example you know only one is correct should be there or there should be some metadata which says that okay actually you know what there can be multiple is correct uh, let's just keep it that way because you know it can give you points for you know, any of these options let's just say that we have something like that but yes so we are able to create quiz we're able to add questions to it using our rest api and we are also able to add options to it so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel